Today is October 12, 2020. We are showing the correct way a technician should do a carbon monoxide check within a home. We're not actually doing one today. I just want to show you how they should do it prior to entering, entering your home. Normally the technician will have a smaller version of something like this that does uh, carbon monoxide uh, detection and 99% of the time it goes off instantly and everybody freaks out. Um, this one obviously is uh, different. This is actually a combustion analyzer. This is how we set the um, uh, the burn rate on the equipment or check the burn rate as well and when we're trying to adjust gas pressure and all that um, we're not doing that today we're actually here at this one uh, trying to figure out why uh, it melted the condensate tray for the AC uh, literally melted it and of course condensate and water was coming down and onto the furnace and every place else um, there was a picture of that on the Facebook page I think but uh, anyway never let anybody bring in a piece of electronic equipment that's testing something as far as indoor air quality of any type um, carbon monoxide carbon dioxide radon whatever um, unless they prove to you that it's actually working properly you know before entering the home and so they should you know turn it on outside and go yep see here i've got a you know i've got a machine that you know it's it's good it's gone it's correct and uh, before they try to scare you into buying new equipment that normally 99% of the time you don't need so this one has a little counter it's LED like I said this is a way more uh, sophisticated piece of machinery than just that little handheld they usually bring in what they do is they'll take these uh, on those little handheld items um, is they'll put them in underneath of their exhaust um, and burn out the sensor and with it not being LED you never know if it's working correctly or not versus like on this one you know it's showing the, you know the CO you know the parts per million that it's good we scroll down we should have the CO2 and this one actually has a second one uh, for this is the actual one for doing uh, in-house the top one because this is really designed to do combustion analyzing on the system and so this is what we should be seeing uh, normally it's you know technically we're supposed to have 21 percent oxygen but i have never gotten that reading from all the pollution within the air but these should all be zero there shouldn't be anything and you know show the homeowner this prior to entering that we do have good working equipment and you know get a you know true est you know idea of what's going on within the home so if they do not do this process you do not let them in the home with any type of testing air equipment um, carbon dioxide, dioxide, radon, whatever. Um, they should always show you outside that it is working. It's 100% accurate. You know, that way you don't get fooled into thinking your equipment is bad when it's not. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you guys know you can always call us uh, or Texas. Uh, try to have a good day.